Okay, uh, today we're gonna be basically ranking a bunch of Minecraft building tools that I've compiled, and yeah, let's get into it. So, first one, we have Axiom. Now, I've never used Axiom, per se, but I've been following, like, the development, and I, from what I've seen, it's amazing. And honestly, like, the developer Mulberry, they're, like, revamping, like, every single, like, Minecraft mod, plugin, whatever, that you thought was good. Like, have you seen? Like, they're making, first, like, they just, like, blew world at it out of the water with Axiom. Now they're developing a flashback, which is, like, basically, like, replay mod, but better. And it's, oh my god, amazing. S tier. Uh, okay, next, we have Blockbench. Blockbench, I, I've i never really used it before, but like, well, I, I've used it. It's I use it for like making skins and stuff, but like, not for like actually like making th 3D models and items and all that stuff. I know people who've like used it and that's for things like that and I, it's really good for like map making and like plugins and custom servers and stuff like that. But for building, hmm, let me say B. Okay, this one you need to get. Uh, it's blo it's beer, which is basically block entity extended rendering. Yeah, block entity extended rendering, where. It basically, like, all the things, you know, like, banners, chests, signs, uh, what are, what are some other block entities? Basically those, and <laughs> you can see them from further away. You know, like, you'll be able to see, like, chests and signs and banners from further away than, like, normally. Like, why haven't they added this to Villanelle? I'm shocked. I'm gonna say... Okay. Oh, this one. Block Palettes. Uh, this one's a website, actually. And I've never used this before. To be honest, this is the reason that I'm making this video, because I found about it, about this, and I was like, oh my god. There's still, like, things out in the world that I don't know. And I was like, there are things, like, out there that people know and use for building, that I don't know. I thought I I thought I knew everything, but like going around on the internet, searching around, I was just shocked that there is still stuff out there. And this is why I'm making this, so people can find new things. I've not used this, but from what I've seen, it's the thing is it basically provides you with block palettes to use, and these block palettes you can use as inspiration for your builds. Now I, f I, I go the other way. I find like some inspiration for a build and then I go back to get the block palette and all that stuff. But I would say for like starting out, this is pretty useful. I'm gonna put it in B. Oh, this next one, Bobby. This is great if you're, it basically it saves like the chunks you've been in. Like, if you're on a server, you know, you're always limited by the server render distance. Whatever your render distance is set to, it cannot be- you cannot see past the server render distance. And Bobby caches the chunks on your side- client side, and then it will still render them. It's great for, like, bigger builds. I would say S tier also. Now, this next one is one that you might not expect to be on this list. It's Desmos. Desmos graphing calculator, or the 3D one, doesn't doesn't really matter. Basically, when I've been like building in like my world, basically I like to play around with like world edit generate commands. If you see it in my channel, you know like what that is, and Desmos can help you visualize that. That being said, I was gonna put this in like B or A or somewhere in between. But now that I think about it, I must say I don't really use it like every day in your typical build. I'm gonna put in C. Okay, this next one. 
This next one, easy edits. It's currently like not out to the public, you need to pay, but from what I've seen and it's like gonna be like if you like to build with like world it generate commands it's gonna be the thing for you like it's gonna have so many more like splines and all like mathematical generative art stuff they're made by Zerani and uh, it's to I don't know how to pronounce it I'll put it on screen this one I have not tried yet again but from what I've seen I'm gonna put that in a all right, this one, fa. You know, world, it's like essential for like pretty much building anything, like large scale, even like not large scale. I cannot like live without it anymore. Fa, it's much better than world one. It's like async, and also there's also more features. But to be fair, from what I've encountered, there's quite a few bugs it's like sometimes there's just like random like lighting errors but mostly it's pretty good all around i gonna put it in s tier also this next one hue blocks hue blocks you can basically it you can insert like a like a minecraft block and it'll and it will generate a gradient between those blocks it's really good. I wouldn't recommend like just like copy and pasting like the transition block for block. I would like go around like ironing out like the ones that look like best. I'm gonna put an A tier. Okay, this next one, iris. Just getting like iris and then any sort of shaders. And I'm gonna put iris and all their shader support and all that in A tier. I don't really use shaders that much. Okay, this one. I, I'm not sure if you heard of this one before. Isometric renders. Basically, it allows you to take like a selection of your world or uh, item or block or entity or whatever and make an isometric render. Like, you know those things you see on the wiki like minecraft.wiki, don't use the fandom one. Uh, like here on the main page, like you see all these isometric renders like the crafting table or the smelting table or like this villager house these are all like isometric renders great for all that stuff and also i've used that in my in a few of my video i've used that for basically creating stop motion animation uh i'm gonna put it in high b uh krista's better walls this one if you're using the debug stick or even axioms tinker tool whatever and you know like when you're placing walls and you use the debug stick and then there's like that ugly like empty texture and you can just see right through the wall that this resource pack fixes that i would put it in it's not essential I'll put it in b this one this next one pinterest pinterest i would say I'd say I don't really use Pinterest. I don't know why. It's just not what I use to get inspiration. I don't know how people find inspiration. All my all my feed is literally just like abandoned cities and like cyberpunk stuff. I don't know. But Pinterest, from what I've heard, it's pretty good for finding references. So I'll put it in A. Replay mod. If you're trying to get like uh, a replay shot of your build or whatever amazing and it will great it, you can make amazing time lapses with replay mod also but I put replay mod I mean like this one's tough put in a uh, sodium it's essential you're, you're not gonna run minecraft without that on like any sort of like low-end computer Okay, this next one, World Edit QI. If like you're just new, like learning World Edit, this one, this mod is great for you. It will just provide like a little box outline or circular outline or for whatever you're building, like with World Edit, and it will like it will make your life easier. I've moved away from using it because I don't. It's a pain to update all my mods, honestly. 
but I'm gonna put that in a ooh this next one world painter and this is the last one on our list and it is oh my god if you're trying to build like anything large scale like terrain map making any sort of that stuff you need to use world painter for like building terrain and all that stuff it's basically like a top-down like level editor or whatever you can create like your own thing you can edit like the height map or whatever it's great it's surprisingly easy to use i thought it would be like difficult to use i'd say s tier also and yeah that it's the the tier list um i'm gonna go play some missile wars now